In William Gibson's novel Zero History, a key character dons the ugliest t-shirt in the world, a ridiculous looking garment that magically renders the wearer invisible to CCTV. Now, as states across the world deploy artificially intelligent surveillance systems to track, trace and monitor citizens, we may find ourselves wearing ugly t-shirts of our own. Researchers at Northeastern University, MIT and IBM have designed a top printed with a kaleidoscopic patch of color that renders the wearer undetectable to AI. It's part of a growing number of adversarial examples, physical objects designed to counteract the creep of digital surveillance. The adversarial t-shirt works on the neural networks used for object detection, explains Zhu Lin, an assistant professor of electrical and computer engineering at Northeastern, and co-author of a recent paper on the subject. Normally, a neural network recognizes someone or something in an image, draws a bounding box around it, and assigns a label to that object. By finding the boundary points of a neural network, the thresholds at which it decides whether something is an object or not, Lin and colleagues have been able to work backwards to create a design that can confuse the AI network's classification and labeling system. Looking specifically at two object recognition neural networks commonly used for training purposes, YOLOV2 and Faster RCNN, the team were able to identify the areas of the body where adding pixel noise could confuse the AI, and in effect turn the wearer invisible. This isn't the first time objects have been designed to try and trick artificial intelligence. In 2016, researchers from the U.S. universities Carnegie Mellon and North Carolina at Chapel Hill created glasses that could fool facial recognition technology into misclassifying the wearer. In 2017, U.S. researchers duped deep neural networks into thinking a stop sign was actually a 45 miles per hour speed limit sign, with a few subtle graffiti-like additions. But all these previous adversarial attacks have been created on static materials. Doing it for video surveillance is much trickier. For the physical attacks, the real challenge is to remain undetected during the whole video duration, says Batista Biggio, assistant professor at the University of Cagliari, and creator of the first adversarial example, which was successful in fooling spam email detection. When detection is running in every frame, remaining consistently undetected is much harder. Unlike a stop sign, t-shirts wrinkle increase when the wearer moves, so the team had to take this into account. The t-shirt researchers are the first to succeed in creating an adversarial example designed to be printed onto a moving material. To do it, they used what Lin calls a transformer, a method for measuring the way a t-shirt moves, and then mapping that onto the design. The researchers recorded a person walking while wearing a checkerboard pattern and tracked the corners of each of the board squares in order to accurately map out how it wrinkles when the person moves. Using this technique improved the ability to evade detection from 27% to 63% against YOLOV2, and from 11% to 52% against faster RCNN. However, Lin says it's unlikely that we'll see these t-shirts in the real world. We still have difficulties in making it work in the real world because there's that strong assumption that we know everything about the detection algorithm, she explains. It's not perfect, so there may be problems here or there. In fact, the researchers don't actually want to help people evade surveillance technology at all. Instead, Lin says that the team's ultimate goal is to find holes in neural networks so that surveillance firms can fix them, rather than to assist people in avoiding detection. In the future, hopefully we can fix these problems, so the deep learning systems can't be tricked.